Okay, since I didn't find anything on the internet about this anywhere, um, I have a Sato Beaver 370D, S370D, little two cylinder diesel, 15 horsepower, class zero, three point. And I had no four wheel drive and I didn't know what was going on. I bought it that way and I don't know if the guy took me or if he uh, knew, but anyway, I decided that I'm going to try and fix it. Well, I'm going to find out parts might be an issue, but I have a machine shop on hand that might be able to make my part, which is going to be better than maybe most of you might get, but at least I'm going to know what's going on. So, I have pulled everything out of here. The drive shaft, which goes through back there. And that's all working. We know that's linked up with the four wheel drive. So I get to here, and I had to pull the transfer case out, which I had to drop this whole thing out, which you have to take that pin out right there to drop it down to get that out. And to get the transfer case out, you have to take both of the wheels off because of this is what's inside there. This is this shaft goes inside that pinion gear there and holds this whole transfer case in. So I had to take these off with these four bolts here, pull them off. Uh, so they would unlock this thing so I could get it out so I could see but my in my case it's all in good shape and the shaft is good to the uh, what would be my right from the front gear shift but here's my problem this is why it's not working there is no shaft in the left side so I'm going to need that shaft at least um, and I haven't dug in any further uh, on if the rest of the stuff is in the other side. So I'm going to pull that apart and make sure everything's in there and then I'm going to go on a part hunt for all this. Um, everything was super basic to take apart. Um, luckily, my bolts were not seized up. Um, hardest bolts were the four bolts on the right side. Uh, I don't know what you want to call that. The outside unit that goes to the wheel. Uh, so, if anybody's done this, or any, if anybody's looking for any information on this, it's pretty cut and dried. Get a manual. I am not a mechanic. I am a carpenter. Um, it's pretty cut and dry. I just start taking things apart. Um, but I'm super happy to find that the rear section, I don't have to pull that apart. That's a whole nother ball game. So I will update this video series uh, since no one has ever talked about this. And I'm sure this actually this is like a 1979 through 87 Sato, which is made by Mitsubishi, but they don't make them anymore. This runs killer, uh, and it's got a bucket loader, which is what I want, but the front-wheel drive makes that, the lack of front-wheel drive makes that pretty hosed because it doesn't work. <laughs> it lifts the back tires off the ground. So I'm working on it, and I will update my part search and uh, progress on this project. I should have done it step by step, taking it apart. Um, but really, if you're anywhere near mechanically inclined and even would attempt this, you pretty much can figure it out if you have a shop manual. So, good luck. I'll update in a little bit. Peace out.